Hello folks, welcome back to my channel. Some of you may remember that a couple of months ago I put a video up where I took a close-up series of photographs of the moon's surface and I also did a, a wider field view on the same night. The viewing conditions that night were absolutely perfect so I was really pleased with the images that I got. Now one of the things I've wanted to do for a long time but never actually been successful at was to take those images and create an image called the mineral moon which is an image of the moon essentially in colour and the colours that you see are representative of the minerals that exist in the, the moon's soil. I've never really had images that have been good enough to attempt this so what I wanted to do was to take the images that I took a couple of months ago and have a go to see if I could drag colour out of the image. And um, yeah, so if you'd like to follow me along, this is uh, what I managed to achieve. My name's John and I make videos on camping, walking and astronomy. If you like what you see in this video, then please check my channel out as you may find others that interest you there. But in the meantime, let's crack on with this video. So the first thing we've got to do is to take the image that came out of our stacking program, in my case, Auto Stack Art, and crop out the artifacts, the stacking artifacts that appear around the edges so that we're left with a nice clean image onto which we can do our fiddling around to try and get some colour to come out. Um, you can see that essentially this is a, a, a monochrome image. It's black and white really, even though it was taken using a, a, a colour camera. And one of the things that we can do to try and see if there is any colour in there is to basically up the saturation on this image just to see if anything comes out at all. So the first thing I tend to do is to go into the camera raw filter and um, slide up the dehaze slider a little bit. That's quite a good way of fiddling around with the contrast I've found. And then staying in camera raw, um, I'll adjust the saturation slider just to see what happens and see if there is any colour in there. And there does appear to be some colour in this image. You can see sort of very very faint blue ejector rays coming from the crater and a kind of pinkish tint to the land on the right hand side so um, now it's possible to crank up the vibrance a little bit uh, to see if we can bring any more out of that colour and rather than do sort of one massive boost of the vibrancy things seem to work better in Photoshop if you do lots of incrementally smaller adjustments. So here I made about a 15-20% boost to the vibrancy and simply repeated this several times until I got to the point where I decided um, that I'd had enough and I was overcooking it. Camera Raw Filter's got a um, feature called Colour Mixer which basically enables you to isolate seven or eight different colours, red, orange, blue, green, that sort of thing, and focus purely on those colours and make the blues look slightly more blue, for example, or slightly greener. And so this is what I did next to have a little, it's quite um, a nice little thing to do actually, to have a little play with that. The movements produce only a very subtle change but they aren't certainly noticeable and um, you can fiddle around with them to your heart's content so um, yeah that's what I'm doing here so the next thing I did staying in camera raw was um, to get rid of a little bit of the noise and pixelation by um, adjusting those two sliders noise reduction and color noise reduction that smooths the image out a bit. So then I went back in and put a little bit of sharpening back into it just to um, bring some detail back again. So that's the process really. Um, 
after that, you just play about to your heart's content until you end up with a, an image that you're satisfied with. And um, again, there's no kind of right or wrong answer to this. Um, you can't see the colours that you're trying to bring out anyway. So it's up to you how um, subtle or leery and otherwise you you choose to make it you just try and make a photograph that keeps you happy um but yeah I, I quite enjoyed this whole little process and i ended up being um quite pleased with the image that came out in the end considering i'd not actually expected to get anything out of it at all so um yeah i then turned my attention to an image that i'd taken the same night through a different telescope of the moon as a whole just to see what I could get out of that. Here's a, a couple of like before and after shots of the moon to give you an idea of what the difference is. So there we are. Um, I was very pleased to be able to get colour out of my images, first time ever really. And I suspect one of the main reasons was that I had a really good night that generated some really good images. And also, a lot of the time when I take photographs of the moon, I'm taking photographs of, say, a galaxy or another deep sky object, and the moon happens to be out, and I just take a quick shot with a DSLR camera just because the moon looks pretty, and that's just one single shot. Whereas when I'm out specifically to take pictures of the moon, like I um, was to generate the starting images for this video, Essentially, I'll take a, a short, say, one minute video made up of thousands of frames and process those frames to create a still image that's much better than any single exposure that you can get. So I think that probably plus a bit of reading around about how to actually do it on Photoshop have enabled me to create the images that I created today. Um, I guess... There's probably lots of different ways of doing it, and uh, mine's probably my usual botch job effort at it. But nonetheless, uh, this is way more successful than I've ever had in the past. The bluey greeny colours that you can see in the image represent primarily titanium in the surface of the moon or in the soil. And I guess the kind of browny, pinky colour is a uh, hematite or iron i would think in the in the moon's surface but i found it dead interesting that you can um, exaggerate and drag out color from what's essentially a black and white image but anyway i shall um put the two images up now at the end of the video so i hope you've liked them i hope you have enjoyed the video and maybe have a stab at doing a mineral moon shot yourself and uh, i'll see you next time take care cheerio